pray up, pray up, pray up. <laughs> okay, some of y'all have no idea what I'm talking about. Last week, Tasha showed me this girl who's been trending on TikTok. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all a, a clip of what I'm talking about. After I saw this shit, y'all, I was like, I got to do this as a prank one day. Today is the perfect day. She doing a solo, so it's the perfect time to irritate the out of her ass. I'm about to interrupt her entire video, but period, period, uh, my food, period, uh, your food, period, uh. Ooh, y'all, talks about to be irritated. Woo, this is about to be funny as hell. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no click play. What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another mukbang. If you are new to the channel, please check the rest of our videos out. Check out our blog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. We're doing Vlogtober, so we have everyday vlogs. And um, welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. What's up, y'all? Uh, I had all the energy in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I had all the energy for Stephanie's video yesterday. I had all the energy. It's 4.30. I don't really have a lot. Not sure why, but it's all good. Um, baby. Let's get into the video. Okay. I'm fake so, back. Didn't go anywhere. Just sat here and then waited one second and then said, <laughs> I'm back. All right, y'all. So I have some snow crab. I have uh, some noodles. I have my Takatsu ramen, but I put a little three times spicy in. I got two eggs and I have some butter sauce that's delicious. Today I have a vintage cola Olipop. I've had this before, don't really like it, but I'm using it for what beneficial benefits it has. Okay. Is that the one that you said is like Dr. Pepper? Or? No, this is cola. Oh. The one that's Dr. Pepper is called something else. Oh, okay. It's not nasty. It's just, you expect cola and you don't get it, so it's like, what is this? What's your hand? I'm gonna try it, baby. See if I like it. All right. Um, I love this plain sauce. I also love the other sauce I make, oh. but I love the plain. Yeah, it tastes strange, huh? Mm -hmm. What y'all eat first? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, these noodles are a little dry, and that's fine. When you do mug buns, you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. I wanted dry noodles. It's It's so damn good. Mm-mm-mm. I don't care how dry you Mm. They so good, I almost would eat this little brown piece of crab. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. Y'all want this? Y'all can have it. I ain't eating that. You getting rid of the whole thing for that? You want it? Nah. <sighs> it's hot. I'm telling y'all, three times spicy is hot. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Three times spicy is hot. Oh, that was perfect. A little piece of crab. Mm, no, I'm not gonna do you. <laughs> That's perfect. Mm. Why you do me like that? Let me help you. Baby, help me. Cause y'all know. Oh yeah. I guess I'm gonna be washing this shirt. Well, I always do anyway for mug bonds, but I feel like I'm gonna be washing the floor too. I'm getting crab everywhere. Oh my god. Mm. That's great. Let me just use this. That's probably what this is for. This is so good, man. Oh my. I remember when I used to look at my grandmother because my grandma liked crab. Eat crab and I was so disgusted. Really? Yeah, because I didn't like it. <laughs> what I did was not like it. Was she eating crab? Snow crab. Snow, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. You're welcome. So I got to talk to y'all, but I'm going to let Tasha eat for a few more minutes before I start. Please do. <laughs> Especially if you want me to comment on it. Yeah. I'm hungry, y'all. It's 4.30, like I said. Oh, that was good. Your lips look all juicy. <laughs> mm. This is great. Oh, look at this dry.
<laughs> mm, let me slow down. Mm. Drink this. This is. Period. Shit. <sighs> Did you do this? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so hungry. See, what I'm not going to do is sit up here and struggle. I'm trying to get y'all a good crab cracking video. Mm-mm. It's okay. Period. Ah, period. Uh. I should let it tick up. I don't. She be like, period. Ah, period. Uh. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please. Period. Ah, period. Ah, period. Uh. I can't stand that child. I'm not saying I can't stand her. I don't know her. I hate that song. That whole thing that, oh God. My back pit, I, your back pit, uh. Okay. You feel me? Shit. She trying to let bitches know. My back period, uh. Your back period, uh. Period, uh, period, uh. Shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. I should mm -mm. I should never show Stephanie. I showed Stephanie that um <laughs> last week. I love last it. week. You love it? Yes. I love it. Mm. Okay. I don't. The little girl's fine. I ain't saying nothing about her, but I can't stand that ghetto ratchetness. Can I have a uh, scissors, please? Remember my nachos earlier? Yeah, I remember them with a lot of them. My food pre and your food pre and. Pre and pre and. I don't have nothing to talk about. Tell me that shit ain't catchy. Somebody need to do a song with No, that that's shit. the ugliest thing I've ever heard. Pre and pre and. Oh boy, you're not enjoying your food no more. I am enjoying it. You are annoying me a little bit. That shit is annoying. Period. Period. So right now you're feeling period. 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 It's not a trend. We are 40 years old. We don't do that shit. Period. Period. I don't like that. Last night I had some crab, y'all, and that shit was period. Ah! Her shit is period. Mm. I don't even want this crab. My cracking period. Ah, yo, cracking period. Mm. Hey. What? What's wrong? Nothing. I don't like it. I don't want to hear that shit. It's annoying. Sorry. Thank you. Please you don't do it. Anymore. You knew I was gonna love that shit. Period. Ah. Well, well, that's what on my video. Do that shit now all the time. Go call your fucking sister and do that shit. Period. I don't know why you laughing. It's not funny. This is actually not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't like it. I hate it, actually. It, it makes me want to hit you. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, shit. That is period on. Shut. Okay. All right. That's cool. Mm. This egg is good. It's period on, like I said. Period on. Period on. Period on. Period on. Period on. Period on. Okay, babe, I'm done, I'm done. Babe. Huh? I was just trying to have fun. I'm not having fun. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not having fun. Let me just do my video. You really mad? I don't. <sighs> I'm shaking. I don't think I'm mad. I'm irritated. That shit is annoying as hell. If you playing a prank or not, I mean, I know you are, but I don't like it. You need to stop. 
That's annoying as hell. Thank you. Okay, I just had to do one in the in the video. <laughs> I think it's fun and cool. I'm glad she came up with the TikTok because we needed some new fun jingle in the world. I'm tired of oak curse. Wait a minute. Right. Uh. I'd rather hear okay. Okay? Yeah, much rather hear that. Okay. Mm-mm. Why are you in my face? Don't get me started now. I was gonna stop. But you <laughs> all right. I was Sorry. gonna stop. Alright. Period. Uh period. Uh. Period. Uh period. Uh period. Uh period. Whoa. I almost threw this crab at her, y'all. But I want it. <laughs> Woo. There are some, there's certain things, you know, that chaps your hide. Even if it's a joke or whatever the fuck it is. Y'all see, I don't even cuss, really. Anymore. On camera. This is really annoying. If I met the child in person, I would run. <laughs> I would run away from her. I mean, if she tried to do it, I, I don't have time for that. Period. I, oh, I should be her for Halloween. Period. I, period. Uh. Well, if you're going to be her for Halloween, find somebody to go to Halloween with. <laughs> or whatever you're doing. Wherever you're going to go. Because oh, I ain't going with you. All right, y'all. I'm done playing. Um, but the topic I had was, I was I'm watching the show. And there is a, it's, it's like a dating show kind of. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a guy on there. And he's bisexual. He's a bisexual black man. And he, what is bi? What's the difference between bisexual and pansexual? Because he calls himself bisexual, but he dates every he dates trans. Pansexual dates is that. everybody. Every, he'll, I you'll think date he's actually pans. Pansexual, not pans. Okay. Okay. I think he's everything because he dates men, women, and trans. Okay. Okay. So they have him kind of hooking up with different people. You know what I'm saying? Like all kinds of different people. Okay. And it seems like the. He's fine, like with the men, they seem to be cool with his sexuality. The, the transsexual people seem to be cool with his, his sexuality, but the women don't. Uh -huh. The women be like, oh no. Y'all, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> gaps. <laughs> and your teeth. Crab will kill it. I had a piece of crab just the size of my gap. I could not get that thing out. You wanna give me some braces ASAP. Oh yeah, what are we talking about? I ain't about to bite another piece of crab. I'm about to play. So I think y'all heard most of my story. You remember what I, what I said? I do. Before, okay. He dates, the females have a problem with him liking men. Yes. The females seem to be the only ones, the straight females seem to be the only ones that have a problem with him being bisexual. Uh huh. And I was just thinking about, damn, they, they gotta be hard as hell to be a bisexual man. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, so, a lot of the women had a problem with it. Yeah. Whereas I everybody think, else wouldn't. But if you think about like a bisexual woman dating, you know, straight man. Yeah. That shit don't seem like it's hard. I feel like a lot of them like it. Not every, not all of them like it. But I feel mm -hmm. like it's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, they not gonna be like, ugh. I don't think it's as big as a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I don't think it's, it's nowhere near as big of a problem though. I think because society, or I don't know. Because I'm not a straight woman. But I feel like it might be society. You know, women, bisexual women, they're looked at as, you know, objects. Yes. Men aren't. When a man, man is supposed to, you know, I don't know. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but. But maybe they are, though. Maybe? No, maybe they are kind of looked at as objects, and that's why it's an issue, too. Oh, women look at men as objects? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Because I know what they're thinking is, okay, you're having sex with men. That's right. the turn off. Yeah. Right. So that's not, I mean, that that's, that is that is a sexual objection. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. Mm. Well, women, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. What y'all want to know what y'all think? I really wanted to ask y'all the question. I'm just put the community post up to ask them would they date a bisexual man and see how many. I think we've asked them this before. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. And a lot of women said they wouldn't. Mm hmm. A lot of them said they wouldn't. Some said they would, but it seemed like the ones that said they would were by themselves. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm not going to judge anybody. I can kind of see why you shouldn't mind because if you like men anyway, then now you can have two of them. You know, you can have two of them. You got two different sizes, strokes, whatever you want from men. I mean, that's if they want to do something with you. I mean... Just because he bought it, I mean, he gonna bring some men for the lady. Well, you shouldn't be cheating either. Right? No, he shouldn't be cheating. So, he, if you guys are in a committed relationship, no. Okay, so if you guys are in a committed relationship with a guy and he tells you that he likes men, but he'll be faithful to you as long as he's with you, what do you think about that versus one that is actively doing something? Is there a difference? Would, it, would that matter? What if a guy told you he's been with men before, but he, he doesn't really like them? He likes women more. You know, because a lot of women will say that, oh, they'll tell, uh, my women will, that date women will say, you know, I like men, but I like women more. I feel like it's really just not fair, though, that people look at bisexual men different than they look kind of in a negative light. And they look at bisexual women. Now, I'm not saying everybody's the same. I'm saying as a whole, I feel like it leans more that way. And then it, and it, I feel like it leans more the way of, ooh, bisexual women. Ooh, that's hot. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, y'all. Crab went back in my teeth. <sighs> I think I ate it. Hold on. What did you say? I feel like bisexual men are looked at more like, oh no, that's not right. And then bisexual women is like, ooh, that's a hot thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit ain't fair. Like it's society. Yeah, it is. I think it's only society because whether you believe it or not, we've been conditioned. We've been taught. Just like a lot of people don't like gay. But why? If society said it was okay to be gay in the beginning, nobody would ever think anything. Think twice about it. Yeah. And if we start saying it's okay to date whoever you want, everybody says that third, let's say a hundred years from now, no one would have ever thought of, I mean, we do have history and history books, but straight or heterosexuality would be a thing of the past. It would just be like, I mean, wait, it's no sexuality. You're just human and you do what you want to do, which is what we should do anyway, because only person that took us here is God. Right. Nobody else. We over here following rules that God didn't make up. And I want to say something because I know there's going to be a, a comment or two saying, oh, but you guys wouldn't date bisexual women because we've said that before. And he, what my point was not that everybody should date bisexual people. My point was I don't look at a bisexual woman and be like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? I feel like straight women that don't agree with men being bisexual are grossed out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Ugh, how could you have sex with a woman? I don't so, look at a bisexual woman to feel that way. So why do y'all date bisexual women? Why I want to see I? if your reason is the same as mine. Yeah. Oh, um, my, my reason would is more so just that I feel more comfortable and safe. It's a selfish, maybe can be called insecure thing. I don't have what men have. So if, if I feel like you want what men have, I, I'm not going to feel completely secure. I feel like you may need something that I don't have. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I just would rather not deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's my that's my reason. Yeah, kind of similar to me, um, but added. I want to add in that I, I've always felt like by women. Um, I could be wrong, so don't be all mad. I think I think more of straight women when I. When I think about bi women, I know that a, a heterosexual woman wants certain things from a man, like his strength, uh, you know, whatever men do, the strength, the he can give you kids, you guys can actually have a biological family together. Mm -hmm. And don't think the lesbians don't want that because we do, we just can't. We can't physically have a child with another woman. Right. So, um, I don't want to take, I never wanted to take that away from a woman that I'm never going to be able to have children with you. You know, and you're since you're bi, you you don't have to be with me. If you want children, you can go find a man and do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be hurt, and I also didn't want to take that away from them. If you want your kids to have a father and all this, I ain't got time for that. I'd rather just be with somebody who is not gonna have those thoughts. Because even some lesbians have thoughts of, well, maybe you know, like they'll go from being lesbian to bi or whatever the case is. They even have thoughts. So. Mm -mm. I didn't want to have to experience that. I didn't want to have to be with somebody that was going to feel some kind of way. I didn't want to be 
someone who's gonna feel some kind of way. Ooh, as far as not being attracted to bisexual women, y'all look just like lesbians. What? <laughs> we attracted to you. Yeah. We might even, you know, touch and feel on little things. <laughs> but, you know, as far as the relationship. Now, let's say me and you weren't together. Uh -huh. And, you know, now my age that I am now, I think that I would believe that a woman of, of 35 plus, oh, okay. hopefully, would... Um, I would have more faith in that she knew what she wanted. Yeah. So I don't think that I would care if she was bisexual or not, as long as she's saying that she's gonna be with me. Mm -hmm. What about you? Would I be more? Well, you like studs, so I mean, <laughs> that probably would be a turn off for you, the bisexual stud. I mean, apparently I was with my ex was bisexual. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, she told me in the very beginning that she would. Um. So then you would date a bisexual because you have. Listen to what, she, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. She said that she, oh, when she is um craving, when she's single. Uh huh. Now I don't know if this is every time she's single, but she said when she has been single, she would go and you know have sex with me just for the pleasure of the sex part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you dated a bisexual? I mean, we was already dating, so I mean, at that point it was like whatever. Oh. <clears throat> but I, I think it had she had told me before I got in too deep. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe it would have been different. I don't. I'm not sure though. You know. Okay. But I think the fact that she, the way she said it, it was like, okay. I mean, I kind of understood. You know what I'm saying? I kind of understood because women's bodies still work the same. For me, just because I don't want a man doesn't mean I don't want penetration. You know what I'm saying? So that's where she. Why she didn't get it from the girls? I don't know. But she she didn't want to be in a relationship with a man. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's right. kind of different. That's what made me and Stephanie. All right. I hope I ate good enough. Oh, really, Pat? <laughs> I hope I ate good enough for y'all, and I hope I cracked the crab good enough. I know I'll be making a mess. But I think you did good. Have a good day, you guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your morning. I know it's 5.45 or 8.45 or whatever time it is. And we love you. Peace. Girl, why was I hoping for her to have some crab left over, y'all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit gone. Bye. You off. Bye. You off work. Clock out. Here's some crab. Clock out. I'm just playing. So you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit like. Yellow. <clears throat> I'm just playing.